What is up guys, it is Barry Michael Doyle here giving you part 18, that's a lot of parts, to this React Native Redux tutorial that we have been going through from scratch all the way to deployment. We're almost finished, uh, we got our interstitial ad set up in the last video, I'm not going to demonstrate that because we've done that a million times, it's just the ad that pops up when we open this modal and close it, then an ad will pop up, only once every two minutes though. The final thing we're missing before we get ready to deploy our application, which we'll also cover in this series, is the banner ad that's supposed to go down here. Uh, there's no banner ad there yet, but we have got the ID for it. We did that in episode 16. Uh, 17 is where we set up the interstitial ads. And finally, we have to implement the banner ads. So before I continue, if you haven't liked this video already, leave a like because I'm sure you will love it anyway. And if you haven't subscribed, I don't know what's wrong with you, but you should go subscribe. I really appreciate that. And leave some comments below saying you're enjoying the series. We're coming close to an end, so I'd really appreciate that. Anyway, let's dive into the code. Right, so here we are in our app.js file where we, we don't need this anymore, the interstitial add ID, because we've implemented in our modal actions already. We did that in the last video. And now we're going to use the banner ID. So... We're going to implement this banner down in the main screen .js in our screens and this is going to be pretty straightforward we we just gotta we're going to make a component for this its own separate component so we're going to call it bottom banner ad because it's a ad at the bottom and it's a banner style ad and that component we actually have to still make ourselves so we got to go to the top here and in components I don't actually like this modals being in the middle of components. We'll put the modals after the components. There we go. Sorry about that. Random OCD moment. Uh, I need to spell import correctly. And we called that bottom banner ad. Banner ad. The spelling terribly today. What is wrong with me? And this is coming from one root up. And we're going to components slash bottom banner ad is what we're going to call it as well now obviously this is freaking out because i can't find it because uh, we haven't made it yet so we're going to go to components and we're going to add a new file called bottom banner ad dot js now in here we're going to need to import a bunch of things actually you don't have to import that much we're, we're using react so we're going to import react from react and this is a stateless functional component, so we don't need to import component uh, because we're just going to make it as simple as possible. It doesn't need any props. Well, even if it had props, it could be fine. But it doesn't need any lifecycle methods and stuff. I'm just separating this because it's easier. You could stick this directly into your main screen if you wanted to because it is pretty easy. But I prefer keeping it in its own component. But yeah, we're importing Facebook ads from Expo. Just like with the interstitial ad, uh, we import... Facebook ads to use the banner ad as well. And now we're creating our components. So we're saying const bottom banner ad. And that is gonna not take any props. And it's just gonna directly return Facebook ads dot banner view. And then it's gonna take the property of placement ID. And that is the ID that we have in our, so I'm going to save this. And this is this ID over here that we need to implement. And you should have your own ID. If you use my ID, I'll just get money from your ads. So I don't really mind if you use my ID, but pretty sure you want your own IDs there. So yeah, then we have the type, it's, we're going to make it standard. And then just like the interstitial ad, we're going to have some on press and on error function, just so that we know stuff is happening. I'm never actually going to test this. But just to have the option of dealing with an on press. So on press, we're going to say console.log banner add clicked. And then we also have an on error. And just like the interstitial add, it takes an error parameter. And we'll say console.log banner add. And let's make this all caps. There we go, banner add error. And we will have the error as the parameter in there. And that will work. And then finally, we just need to export default bottom banner add. 
What is wrong with my code? Uh, oh, I forgot to close this. Let's see, rookie mistake. There we go. That's closed. And oh, I said Facebooks. It's Facebook ads over there. So sorry for any confusion that that may have caused. And that said, this is all we really need to implement. And it's already put in our main screen. We've, we've chucked it in over there. So it's really going to be used. It's going to go under everything. And I don't think we had any special styles. Yeah, we didn't really have any special styles for it at all. We just let it stick in there as it is. Because you don't want to really mess with the styles of a banner ad. You can mess with the container styles and stuff. But the style itself, try to touch it as minimally as possible because it could break things. Anyway, we don't need this ID anymore either, so I'm going to cut that out. And let's go test out our app quickly. Right, so here we have it. It is running. And uh, this is our, our current application now. Like, this isn't a future build of the ad. This is the application running on Expo, and it is working. It's all working perfectly, which is really cool. Uh, you may notice that if you start this up, it takes a while for the ad to appear, that's just because it needs to load in, but the gap for the ad is still going to be there, which is quite cool, so you know it's spaced there. Uh, you can still use your application as normal, we can go open the chords button, but I don't want to open it now because an ad's going to pop up, and I don't want to pop up random ads for no reason. So, this also, it's you set it in your ads how often you want it to change, but I think mine is set to change every 30 seconds. You set that on Facebook. Uh, that's all very customizable, how you want to do things. But the nice thing is it just appears perfectly as a little banner ad, and it counts as impressions, and you get a little bit of money from it. If you have a huge user base, then you'll actually make some, some good money there. But, you know, for me, I'm just... Uh, this is a simple app. Not many people use it, because even if they use it after, like, two days, they kind of grasp the concept, and then they don't need it anymore. So it's just a simple helping tool. I do want to mention before I end this that... I've had some issues developing with this. This was in the past, like, two versions ago of Expo, so it might have been fixed. But I had issues with developing this banner ad. When I start developing more code, sometimes the the whole app just stops working. It doesn't respond. So what I simply do then is I build the application with the banner ad commented out. So if I go to this main screen here, I'll keep the ad here. I'll comment this out. And then I'll build the application and get it running and make sure it works without the ad. And then I'll stick the ad back in and then usually it works. It's a very strange problem I've had. It doesn't happen, you know, when you don't do anything to the code. So I've deployed an application on the App Store and it worked fine and never had any issues. But just during development, sometimes I had those issues. I have, Those issues could not be there anymore. An ad's going to appear in 10 seconds because I'm using this Visor app thing. So I'm going to minimize that. Basically, if you do have any issues with the ads going on down here, just remove it and put it in later. And I don't know why that happened, but it, I'm pretty sure Expo has fixed that problem. So Because they're very on top of things with fixing issues. Anyway, that's going to cut it for this video. As I mentioned earlier, please comment below. I really appreciate those. And make sure you like the video and subscribe if you haven't done that already. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. I think there's only one or two videos left. But yeah, see you later. Ciao.